Okay, so if you get um, into your report one and you want more data, so we have median income, we have some population density stuff. Uh, where we're pulling that from is um, Mapping LA. So you can just Google, Google that. Um, and here is your website. Uh, and again, the map, and there's some other stuff here. Mostly what you're going to do is to pick what ranking you want. So let's say you need, uh, you say you're going to target um, pages 50 to 64. All right, so you just want to pull the data, hit go. It'll have the same 265. Again, it says 272 neighborhoods up here, but there's only 265 of data. Uh, if you go down to the bottom here, uh, so this will match uh, what's in your Excel file. Uh, and then to bring any of that data in, what you want to do is um, just highlight. So I'm just going to click and drag down until I have all of the data I want to bring in over to my data set. This is going quite slow. Come on. There we go. All right. Then I just copy it. So Control C. Uh, and typically I want to paste it one column over and and uh, that's E is where I'll check and make sure everything comes over correctly. Uh, so I just come back over here and I right click in F1. There's these paste special. Uh, if they have something like match destination formatting, you see how I hover over that, it looks like it's going to come into the data uh, set looking like this. So that's fine. If that doesn't work, uh, go in and use this Unicode text in the paste special menu. Um, and that should, um, either one of those sh should work or one of the two should work or who knows. Uh, but after you do that, uh, the main problem is going to be that now the first neighborhoods are not going to match up to the neighborhoods over here. Uh, so once you bring the data in, you just uh, sort the new data by neighborhoods, everything in both neighborhood A to Z. And then uh, I usually check to make sure everything came over right. So you'll start seeing Acton is Acton, Adams, Norman, B is Adams, Adams, Norman, B. So when you bring over the percent of people in that age group, it'll match up to the correct neighborhood which we want. Um, but I can check real quick just by doing this equals if. Uh, and so my test is just going to be does G2 uh, look like A2? If it does, comma, you know, so you hit comma, it's going to jump over to value of true, you want it to give you a one. Uh, and then if I hit comma again, value of false, I want it to give me a zero. Uh, and that's it. So double click that down. It sums right here to 265, right? So that means there's a one in all 265 columns of data, or, or I'm sorry, rows of data. Uh, so this, all of this, all these percentages match up with the appropriate neighborhood. So now I can just click on E, drag over, right click, delete, and now I have a new variable to work with in my data set. Bring in as many as you need, and then you can work from there. That's all I really got for you.